All right, one more video for the day. A lot of these I showed you guys in the last video because most of them are the predatory plant crosses. But there is some stuff I did not show you. Um, I did make a video when I when I put this tent up initially, showing some stuff off. I got some orchids, hoyas up here, just getting those started. See the peristome on this guy's uh, coloring up. So yeah, these were featured in the predatory plants update video. This plant, all of these. I am gonna show some stuff off that was not in that video, however. So let me grab. Let me grab this plant. And this is a Nepenthes fusca. Look at that long cylindric body. Faded peristome. I love when it gradiates between that dark maroon to the light yellow. This guy does have a lot of basils on it. It's got four or five growth points. So it does uh does end up putting a lot of pictures out. I'm gonna be honest with you, I do need to I do need to trim these pictures off. Or not pictures, uh probably need to take cuttings of this plant. Cause uh all these little baits will suck the sap out of the mother plant. Typically this plant probably basil because of stress or something. Alright, next I wanna show this guy off. This is Nepenthes lumbiculus. Probably saying that wrong. It has a nice little vine on it. Right here. That's one upper picture. Which I'll show you guys just for the walls. Nothing special. Lots of lower pictures. This plant basil is like crazy. I think I counted 14 growth points. And it's known to make growth points underneath the media. And likes to dig the pictures deep into the media. Sometimes I'll find them tucked away and way down in corners. Yank them out. You can see it's starting the vine here. Starting the vine here. So this will be three vines on it. This one's probably going to start vining here too. And if we look real closely, you can see there are lots of basils. Tucked away down there. You can't see very well, but there's one. There's one over here. So you do get these nice clusters of pictures everywhere. Due to the growth habits of the plant. Ooh, broke this one off, but it's okay because I can show it to you. Not super crazy, but I do enjoy this plant very much just because of the way it grows. Let's get the whole plant in there, and maybe it'll put a flower out for me too. Now we have another, another Fusca. This is a different variety. I believe it's from a different mountain. Same deal. Nice tubular pitcher. Nice flared peristome. Growing really well. Needs a bigger pot. Alright. Two more plants I want to show you guys. This is Nepenthes copenlandi. It's related to a lot of. It grows like a weed. 
and is absolutely gorgeous. You can see another picture bag here. Gives me some nice big pictures. Um, getting pretty big now. Hoping it'll start vining. I've, I've also been hoping for a basil, but it doesn't seem to be showing any signs of basiling for me. All right, the last plant I want to show you guys is down here. And it is the Nepenthes Hamada. See if I can get it to focus. Yeah. You can see those nice teeth. This branch out of here. And it took some damage. You can see that last leaf did take a toll. This guy really. I've had it for uh, a year. It started very, very small. But uh, surprisingly, it's it's actually quite a fast grower. I couldn't believe it when it started uh, really sizing up for me. Didn't have any roots. Uh, barely any plant when I received it. It was super, super small. But uh seems to be sizing up. I uh, put it in sphagnum, it rooted, and uh, it's growing well. I don't think I'm going to lose it like I uh, initially thought. Well, that's it with the, that's it with this grow tent. Let me put this back. Apologies if you're staring at the floor. Alright. Got that back. And you can see that nice. Nice picture here. I'll show these to you guys to you in the other video. Trocata by Tentaculata. Got Truncata by Talagensis. this guy back. I really need to get this vine trellised up, but for now I just throw them, throw them over here. And it'll grow towards the light. Last thing I want to show you guys is this picture. I told you guys it gets gorgeous when it starts to redden. Absolutely stunning. I can't tell you how much I love this plant. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'd imagine the uppers are even better. And uh, it did pump out, pumps out three pitchers at once typically. Roku by Stenophylla by Talagensis. Very nice plant. And that's going to be it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. If you'd like to see something or have any recommendations for me, comments are always appreciated. If you guys could uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, feedback is appreciated. Hope you guys enjoy.